on there. Uh, really, really comes down to the wire, especially when you have this many people uh, getting that close of a tournament. Um, so what that means is that we are going to have two semifinals. We're going to have Noverb versus Tony G, the one versus the four, and we'll have Mono J versus Tempest Dragon King, uh, the two versus the three. Now in the past, we've staggered these so that we watch both. Um, however, because it's pretty late, I want to be conscious of everyone's time. We've had five Swiss rounds today, so we are actually going to play both those simultaneously. Um, so we are going to go ahead and uh, spectate the Noverb versus is Tony G match. Uh, that's the one versus the four. We're going to spectate that one uh, while Mono J and Tempest Dragon King are playing in the background. If we have time, we'll switch over to the other one, uh, and then we will move uh, right into the finals. We probably won't take a break before the finals either, uh, so stick around, and we'll move right into the finals after that. Um, while I'm getting this set up, any any thoughts here, Maddie? while I'm getting the finals set up here? Semi-finals? Uh, I think you... I think you're muted there, buddy. Sorry. There we go. Classic. <laughs> it, it happens all the time. Of course. <laughs> it's only happened twice tonight. Yeah. Not a big deal. No uh, I was just saying that it's been, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, all these games have been really good. Um, we've had a lot of stuff we've expected to see with Elijah and uh, Agro being prevalent and strong. Uh, Agro decks in general, of course. Uh, we talked about that a lot. But seeing the control decks put up really good results as well, it's been pretty impressive to see. So, I mean, obviously, you know, when it's in the hands of Tony G, it's probably going to do pretty well. But uh, definitely uh, exciting to see uh, all the different things that people bring to the table. So, Absolutely. Okay, well, they are, players are ready for the first semifinals. So let's send it down. We have Tony G on the screen at the bottom here. And we will have the hand cam for Noverb here. So Noverb is still looking over uh, his keep, uh, but Tony G's hand, what do we see here? So we've got, uh, oh, this is a keep for Tony G with only two power in hand. Uh, I guess he's got wow. the seek answers for, for the third power. Uh, not, not, not exactly how you want your third power to go. Um, yeah, it's, it's not a guarantee either. I mean, that could just hit, you know, a primal sigil and then yeah. are, are sitting with a handful of stuff you can't play. It's, it's pretty true. risky. It's true. Meanwhile, uh, Nova was looking at a uh, somewhat decent hand. You've got a, a sigil, a seat of wisdom, which is the Elysian sigil, of course. Um, a monk, a permafrost, two daring griffins, and an Albin Roa. So a little light on power, but or yeah, but but probably keepable there. Yeah, it looks like yeah, they I do keep that hand. Yep. Is keepable that draw of a third daring griffin is a little bit of an issue, but I I. Would guess that we'll be finding power pretty soon here. We'll see what he hits off the seek. All right, got a seed of chaos. That's, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> yeah. Got the fire. That's what he needed. Yeah. The control yeah, decks. The control decks over, keep too. keep two power and always get there, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hey, sometimes you got to be lucky, you know. <laughs> Uh, another Daring Griffin there for uh, for Nova. That's that's pretty good. Let's see if those are effective in this matchup. They should be. Oh yeah. As long as there's a target for the Exalted, I think if Tony G's able to keep the board clear enough, even if it counters a thing, uh, if there's nothing to put the Exalted weapon on, it's not gonna not gonna be too effective. I like the comment that the winner of this tournament will plague the ladder for the next few weeks. <laughs> Potentially, uh, that sometimes does happen. Um, uh, yep. Now, you, you don't always know. There's always some... You always got to be careful looking at the winning deck because a lot of times, you know, if there's two or three archetypes, two or three copies of the same archetype in the top four, or top eight, you know, that's always a good showing as well. Um, so sometimes you got to look past the winning. But but you're right that I think when you look at the general public, a lot of times they do just take the winning deck and <laughs> fire that off and ladder. <laughs> Well, I guess the, the silver lining there would be that we're already seeing a ton of Elijah Nagra on Expedition Ladder, so I, I wouldn't expect things to change all that much from what we've already seen. All right. So let's see. Tony G's got an Active Garden of Omens, got a Permafrosted Smuggler, got Cremate, and we've got Carvet in hand as well. Um, yeah, Nover. I mean, Noverb's just going to 
trying to counter this entire site, I guess. <laughs> just keep throwing griffins out there. Yeah, now the, the naked griffin by itself is, is not the best use for it because you don't really get to take advantage of one of the best uh, best parts of the card, which is... Yep, that's exactly right. It's like I was talking about unit, at the beginning. You know, you know if, there's, if there's nothing there to put it on, it, it's not quite as good. It just becomes a daring pioneer at that point. Exactly. Yep. It's, it's namesake. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, so do the metamorph now for no verb. Yeah, I still think that was the right play for no verb. Getting rid of the ice bolt so that you can theoretically, anyway, <laughs> stick the uh, the next unit. Obviously, conflagrate gonna have uh, other other thoughts for that, but yeah, sticking a I unit against uh, to what Tony G's deck is trying to do here is is pretty tough. Yeah, absolutely. With just with just more backup removal in hand. Uh, yeah, very removal heavy hand here, oh, and then a wisdom of the elders just on time here. A one power wisdom of the elders too. Oof, that's beautiful. I mean, Novarb had a good hand, you know. Triple, triple daring Griffin had some aggressive units. Has a Sodi spell shaper in hand. Another Sodi that was that's a pretty good hand. I don't think you can complain about that draw, but you know, it just didn't match up. And yeah. Tony G just had removal after removal after removal. And, yeah, he even drew into his power, uh, which was something he obviously needed to be able to to play all these things, and still it's looking like it's not going to matter. Yeah, it's tough. But sometimes that's just how the matches go, right? Oh, and then even the seek power yeah. to... <laughs> yeah, seek power to block the it, seek. and then replacing it. <laughs> the seek power to do it. that, to the fouls up of the diesel's office, that is brutal. That's going to be game. Everything coming up Tony's way in this game one. I mean, if you're in no verb seat, though, you can't feel bad about that. Like, there's really nothing you could have done. <laughs> no. I don't, I don't think there's any could... decision that you made there that could have been different. I mean. No. I, I don't think he could have beat that hand with with what you had. Maybe with, like, the most aggressive hand no verb has, it would be possible to beat Tony G's start. Possibly, but yeah. I, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if that would be a thing. <laughs> That's one of the ones where uh, LSV says, you know, if you could just stack the deck exactly how you wanted it, put any card you in your deck in the exact order, and you still wouldn't win the game. Yep. Then, <laughs> yep. Not much you can do about it. <laughs> All right. And, so, I mean, it, those are those are the games that you don't feel too bad about, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you were literally just, you you played it exactly as good as you could, and it still wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, Tony G is going to take that. Take the first game, game one. Now, this is still best of three, so the finals will be best of five. We'll, we'll get there in, in a few minutes here. Um, but Tony G is going to take game one, and he's going to go up one game to zero. So if Tony G wins this game, he will proceed into the finals. Uh, but no verb, of course, needs now to win the next two uh, to come back and make it into the finals. Remember, we are not doing a modified play draw, so that is just going to be luck of the draw. It looks like no verb did get the, the coin flip here, and they will be going first in this match. <laughs> you like the four copies of Nash Unrelenting in your opening seven? <laughs> yeah, four might be a little much. Two power, a resolute monk, and four copies of Nash. No verb's going to toss that one back. Um, eh, similar hand to last time. You got Daring Griffin, double Sodi Spell Shaper here uh, on the six. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like going six against Tony's deck to begin with, and then having just one unit with the Sodi Spell Shaper. It's a little tough. Yeah, it's a little risky, and especially on such a frat, get removed with pretty much everything Tony G plays. Yeah, exactly. But that was down to six, so nothing he could really do about it. But yeah, and then yeah, um, drew an Alban Row for the turn, so that's that's nice. You have a, a backup threat here. Um, yes, yeah, certainly but, helpful. Oof, but Tony G's hand is stacked as well, so that's gonna be it's gonna be pretty tough for Noverb to to fight through all this. Yeah, it really is. I've been impressed with this Tony G deck. You know, when I looked at the deck list right before we started, you know, it just looked like a you know average typical control deck, but it's actually played out pretty well. Seems like there's a lot of good answers in the in the format. Uh, answers a lot of the different things. You've got the sweeper and malediction, which honestly took care of more units than I expected it to. Um, and then you've got the listener has just been incredibly powerful every time we've seen it come out. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't really matter what you get off the listener. It pretty much anything is going to be good enough because it is still card advantage yeah yeah anytime a control deck like that can just play a real threat 
and get a card out of it. And not even a card, you get your choice of three cards out of it, which is even better than drawing a card. Yep. Yeah, and over I'm going to go with the Trailmaker here. And it's something, but... Yeah, it's gonna be tough to keep that on board. I think not a good sign when your when your control deck opponent is is turning the gas on you. <laughs> yeah, that's how that's how you know you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, if you're at 15 and your control opponent's at 25, you're definitely not in a good spot. Interesting, firing off the malediction here. I mean, I guess yeah, just keep the board clear so that no verb can't uh, equip on things. But um, did take out your own unit as well. All right, there's a Nash there. But Garden of Omens, Ice Bolt's going to take care of that. Yeah, and I think that Malediction was a good play because uh, anticipating the Daring Griffin mm -hmm. to that from clearing anything is definitely a, a relevant part of the equation. For sure. Get hit with Berserk now. All right, Borderlands Lookout and a Griffin in hand. So not yeah. a bad turn there. Yeah, that's a good turn for sure. And uh, Tony's uh, Vopex choice is not going to be a good thing to fire off here. Yeah. Well, I guess now it is. Well, <laughs> I forgot I guess, the, yeah, the, the sight clearing off the Pioneer. Yeah, yeah the, so if you didn't catch what happened there for those watching in chat, because the Garden was active there, uh, the resurface got countered by the Daring Griffin, um, so the Darren Griffin got sacrificed, uh, moved over, and then now uh, the choice did get to take care of the remaining Borderlands lookout. So actually, actually worked out really well there for Tony. Yeah, it sure did. Uh, drawing a secret passage off of the invoke. Finally, something that didn't. Uh, <laughs> finally, something from the invoke that wasn't backbreaking. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh my goodness. And now you're at six yep. power drawing Carvet off the top at this point. Um, the permafrost just going to get blown up by the meltdown third mode of garden. <laughs> the throwaway mode yep. of garden is going to take care of the permafrost there. <laughs> oh yep. man, that was just beautiful. Be <laughs> beautiful eternal there by Tony G. 